Greetings, Willow Dell. Dr. Kelly here. This upcoming week um, is our last week for our book fair. Please stop by our library during your library specialty time. Um, there are so many fun books and activities and things to encourage reading. There's a video that is linked um, below in our newsletter where you can see all of the, the cool setups and some of the titles that we have available for your kiddos to read. So next week is the last week of our book fair here at Willowdale and we invite everybody um, to come out. And if you've missed your library time, we have some makeup dates um, where kids can still go purchase things. And thank you in advance because those proceeds help support our school. This coming Thursday, March 2nd, from 6 to 7.30 p.m. here at Willowdale, it is our Dr. Seuss Title I event. We have chocolate trees posted um, already around our building. They look so cool. We invite everybody out, grades K through 5, for this fun-filled family activity night. We're going to have math games. We're going to have reading games. We're going to have some special guest readers in the library. Please, please, please come out. We look forward to seeing you there. This coming Friday, March 3rd, is a half day for elementary students. So dismissal is at 11.45. Um, and it's also uh, Wear Puma Pride Day. So please rock your yellow and blue. We'd love to see all the Puma gear because we are absolutely Willowdale Puma proud. So thank you in advance. Really quickly, the following week is Read Across America Week. So in addition to some cool books that our librarians have recommended for us to read during that week, it's also our spirit week. So please check the calendar. Um, we have cool outfits tied to books. We have some backwards in and out wacky days, um, some PJ days. So please see our calendar so that you know we can celebrate reading um, with the rest of America. So thank you. In our closeout, I wanted to read a book called Red Shoes in celebration um, of the conclusion of Black History Month. We just wanted to read a book by Karen English and Ebony Glenn. Red Shoes Dazzling, perched on a pedestal in the shop window as if on a throne. I want those, Nana, Malika says to her grandmother as they pass the shop. We'll see, Nana says with a wink. Looks like you could use a new pair. Surprise! Red shoes nestled in a shoebox under tissue paper on the kitchen table. Nana smiles her secret smile. Malika laughs and slips them on quick, quick. Red shoes walking, click, clack, click across the floor on Malika's feet. Swish, swish, swish around the living room. Click, clack, clack down the hall, then out the door and around the block Malika goes to show off her new red shoes. Carefully, carefully on the first day of school, Malika walks in big galoshes that hide her shoes from the rain. She wants to keep them dry when she jumps in puddles. Red shoes dancing on daddy's feet when they go to auntie's wedding in the fall. Red Shoes kicking Cousin Jamal under the table at Nana's Christmas dinner as he tries to snatch Malika's buttery biscuit. Red Shoes stomping home when Malika and her best friend Keisha have a fight. Malika is mad and sticks to it. Red Shoes jumping double dutch at Keisha's birthday party after they make up. Then, oh no, Red Shoes pinching 
when Malika squeezes them on to, to Nana's birthday dinner at a restaurant. My shoes are too small, Malika says sadly. And all through dinner, her red shoes don't let her feet, let her forget that her feet have grown. Red shoes in the window at the resale shop where Nana and Malika have taken them to be resold so somebody else can enjoy them. Softly, softly, Malika says goodbye to her wonderful red shoes. They were her favorite shoes ever. Inya Zia spies the red shoes dazzling in the shop window. She knows just the little girl who will love them. Now they are squeezed into her luggage bound for Africa. Red shoes under Inya Zia's bench in the marketplace where she sells her clay pots. They are waiting for Amina, the girl who fasted half the month of Ramadan, the girl who deserves a special gift. And here she comes at last, holding her mother's hand. Inya Zia smiles down at Amina. I promised you a gift and here it is. Red shoes are passed to Amina's waiting hands. Thank you, auntie, she says. They are beautiful. Then later, red shoes riding on the trotro on Amina's lap. Back at home, Amina's little sister, Halima, rushes to see the gift for the girl who fasted half the month of Ramadan because somebody she hopes to do the same. Someday she hopes to do the same. Amina lets her try them on, but just for a little. Halima will have them soon enough when Amina's feet grow too big and Halima's feet grow big enough. Now the red shoes are tucked safely under the bed, waiting to be worn on very special days. Meanwhile, back on the other side of the ocean, Malika wonders, Whatever happened to my beautiful red shoes? I wonder if someone is wearing them right now. The end. Well, thank you, Willowdale. I want you all to have a wonderful week and see you on Monday. Goodbye.